I'm going to ask you a question about the Bible. Yeah. You know the Bible. Have you read the original Bible? No, I read the translation. I don't say the original one. That's still available. You see that in the Bible, it says that the last prophet named Muhammad will come. Show me. And that, that's show me. Yeah, I'll show you. Okay, show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll get out of my Bible. So you're going to show me. In the Bible, it's written that the last prophet will come and his name is Muhammad. It, it doesn't actually say that at all, no. It doesn't. And we're going to prove it right now. Show me. Oh, oh, right. So, oh, right. No, it doesn't say it, though. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. And what were your evidence is what? An Islamic argument, an Islamic YouTube video, or an Islamic pamphlet? It's not scholarship. I guarantee, brother. If you go and read in Armenian, no, brother. Brother, firstly, the original is in Hebrew in terms of the Old Testament, and it's in Greek in terms of the New Testament, and neither of them use Muhammad's name. Go and search for it. It doesn't. It doesn't. We've already. We've already. The, the, the Jews themselves who read the Old Testament in Hebrew. Do not testify it, 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 what I, you say. I, no, I don't, I don't know the name of the language. Yeah? Hebrew. It's not Hebrew, it's another language. You're talking about Aramaic. Aramaic. The, the language Aramaic. that Christ spoke. That's the yeah. Name. So where is your evidence that, that there is this original Injil? Where, where is your evidence that there was a thing called an Injil? It's the Bible. No, no, no. Where is your evidence that a book... History. History. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a student of history. I'm telling you there's no evidence of an Islamic book called an Injil. I am saying that as a fact. That's your opinion. I respect Right, so which, so which ancient scholar, right, which ancient source... I, I, I don't listen to ancient Oh, you don't listen. So you're not, you're not making an historical argument then? Sorry? You're not making an historical argument. I'm telling you what I believe. Right. You can tell me what you believe, but if your beliefs contradict all the facts, then your beliefs are false. And, that's fine, and your beliefs contradict all the facts. That's fine, but it doesn't bring you Yeah, it does. I'll give you some facts. Fact. Fact. Clement was writing in 90 AD. Clement references the New Testament I hold in my hand. Fact. Ignatius was writing in 120 AD. Ignatius quotes the New Testament I'm holding in my hand. Fact. Tertullian was writing in the 200s. He quotes the New Testament I'm holding in my hand. In fact, every single church father quotes the New Testament, and they don't just quote the New Testament, they also quote the rival writings of other groups. But they never quote anything that you could call an angel, ever. History is silent about this thing called an angel. There is no knowledge of its existence. There is no documentary evidence to prove that it ever exists. No one ever references it. No one ever talks about it. There was no angel. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. What the angel? The angel is a fiction of Muhammad, an invention you find in the Quran that does not. Not exist. He, he, he got told about it by someone else. It wasn't him that told him about it. So, so the angel. Where is your evidence that it existed? No, but I'm saying someone else told him though. So he didn't get it from his own soul. So remember when he went to the sorry, who's he? Sorry, I'm confused. What a car, what a car, the cousin of Khadija, he's the one who told him about these books. So the Quran doesn't mention an angel. Of course, it mentions the angel. What, what I'm so where is it? What I'm trying to say to you is understand something. If you want to play on semantics, there's something called semantics. I'm not, I'm not playing on semantics. No, what I'm trying to say to you is, a word, if we say Isa, we're really saying Jesus. It's not, we're not talking about all this. Shall we do three minutes, three minutes? Listen, three listen, minutes. Listen, listen to me. If someone says something in another language and you don't understand it because you're weak in that language, doesn't mean that that thing doesn't exist. It just means that the language is a language barrier between you and that thing. That's all it means. Just like if someone in Arabic came and said a word, but you said, no, I think it means this, and this is what it means in English. Doesn't mean that the word doesn't exist. It just means that the word... Can I reply? And this is always the same. Like Muslims come, they give their little pep talk, and then they walk away. No, 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 no. The reason being, no, no, no. Let me reply now. Let me reply now. Let me reply. Let me reply. Let me reply. So, so, so. The thing is, the Quran talks about a thing called an injil. Everyone knows it. I'm not making that up. One second. No, no, one second. Let me just reply to his point. Right. This book called an injil that supposedly Isa had. Sci history has no evidence of its existence. The first time that such a book is mentioned is in the Quran like in the like 7th that. century. There it, show me any extant evidence no, 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 from the 1st no, century to the 7th century yeah, that in, quotes in, this book. Friend, uh, Where is your evidence? All the Christian in Arab so, so what I'm trying to say to you is, uh, again, there's a language, there's a language barrier. You know? And um, I feel like 
because there's yeah. a language barrier. What do you think the NGL is? No, I'm Listen, saying to you, because there's a language barrier. One second, please. Please, one second. What friend? If there's a All the Arab Christians, how do they call the Bible? They call it the NGL. Exactly. What do you think the NGL is? So you believe the NGL is these 27 books I've got here? No, this is... Ah, so it's not. Right then, so we're not talking about the same thing, are we? You're the one playing semantics, not me. So listen, if you want to listen to me, I can explain to you. If you don't, you don't have to listen. So what I'm saying to you, yeah? what's your name? Bob, you know? You can call me Bob. Bob. That's your real name, right? No, of course not. So what I'm saying to you, what's your name? Adnan. Adnan. That's my real name. Yeah? Is that your real name? That's my real name. Your birth name? Yeah. The one it says on the certificate? It's the one that Allah gave me. Well, so it's not the one it says on your certificate, so you're using a false name? It doesn't matter. Yeah. So no, I say, no, 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 I've got no problem saying. using a false name. Okay, so I what, just want to what, point out everyone, that Muslims have this uh, have this issue, but they use false names all the time in the park. It doesn't matter. So you're so, 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 so is, is, is it what you've done? You, so you just tried to do. You tried to insult me and then try to continue you. the debate. So, so now this yeah. is what I'm going to get with you. No, no, this is what I'm trying to This you did. No, no, no. So you use false names. That's my name. How you call someone's name? No, how can you call someone's name? They're not real name. If someone calls themselves something, that's what they recognize themselves as. It doesn't come for you to come now and try to take someone's identity. And this is what the white man always tries to. Oh, don't play the race card. No, 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 no